generally we expect 10 to 15,000. And that's, I know that's a broad range, but it does depend on the weather a little bit sometimes. Um, this year it's looking warm and we might have a little bit of rain, but we are, we're prepared for that in terms of our programming. And as long as people come prepared, I think they'll have a great time. Most of our venues are inside, which people don't realize. So the weather is not a huge factor in terms of your experience of the event. They are. They're going to be inside actually performing um, in the Scottish Rite Cathedral, which is a great, a great space to see a live performance. They're going to have a flashlight performance as well as the regular show. So that'll be a great time, buckets and tap shoes. So we have the Harris Stowe drumline and honeycombs coming in to do um, a, a loud fill the room band performance. Creative Pandemonium is a dance group. Um, they do African dance, and they also have a couple of authentic Af African instrumentalists coming in to showcase that culture and that environment. So we're excited about that. And then Buckets and Tap Shoes has three performances. The Cadence is a drumming group, a percussion group from Missouri. They were on America's Got Talent in 2008, and they are they're phenomenal. They they get the energy going. They get the crowds revved up for the fireworks. So we have them on our outdoor stage before our nine o'clock fireworks and before our midnight finale, um, just to keep people warmed up and drummed up and ready for the big the big event of a first night, which a lot of people look forward to the fireworks. The concentration of venues is between Lindell and Del Mar on Grand Avenue. So we're just hoping for a great audience. Um, everything else is provided and in place. We have great music, great theater, great energy, great lighting, um, things that you would never see on a normal day in this district. So really all we need are the people.